Welcome to Great Online Training. This is Naidu. I'm a SaaS trainer and programmer. In this video, I'm going to explain a series of videos on SaaS clinical programming interview question and answers. Let's get started. Okay, this is very common question generally when you are uh, just appearing for any type of interview. So whether you're really uh, having experience or putting some fake experience on your resume, they'll get to know by just asking these type of questions. How you start your daily routines as a SaaS programmer? So what you do is, first of all, whenever you log into the office, first of all, you are swiping your ID card in the office so that you will enter into the uh, office environment. Once you enter into it, so there will be a, a a place where it is allocated to you, your computer and your seat and all will be allocated. So you will go there and sit it. So then after that, you need to log in with your credentials. There will be employee ID for every organization. So you need to enter your employee ID and as well as your password so that you will log into the computer. Once you log into the computer, then the, the regular computer is the not the computer where you generally open SaaS and work on it. So there will be a one more environment called Citrix. Citrix is a, another environment. That means this is how you need to connect to a, 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 a client um, uh, computer. So that we you need to log into it. So there will be a, a user link uh, for that to just log in into it. So again, client uh, login details will be different. So you need to enter your login details and password. So once you enter it into it, so then your SaaS software, you can able to see on that particular desktop. So you can click on that icon of your SaaS so that the SaaS will open. And now you want to know that uh, what is the work they have assigned to you. First thing is you will just check your mails. Is there any many mails communicated from your team members? Okay. First you will check the mails. That is the first thing once you log in into your computer. So you will check that is there any mails related to my yesterday's work or is there any mail related to my new work is assigned at all. First they will communicate through mail only. So first you will check that. Or else is there any meeting scheduled to start that particular work also? Is there any meetings or, or maybe uh, anything is scheduled so that you will check that the meeting calendar also in your outlook. So then you decide it. Okay, this is how they have planned. Okay, this is the work they have assigned and all. So maybe sometimes what happens, you know, your lead will send a mail. Okay, in this particular location, you can find that uh, all your assignments, what I have added to you. So you can find it in this document. They may give you a link of the document. Once you click on that particular document, document means it's an Excel file only. With that Excel file, will have all the information, so what is required uh, to start your job. Okay, maybe imagine how many uh, uh, tables we need to create it, how many outputs to be created and all. So generally what happens, you know, you no need to uh, do the work uh, today and they, uh, that means imagine when you just log into the office at 9 o'clock in the morning, don't expect your output to be submitted in the 5 o'clock in the evening. Okay, so there will be a small milestones. We call it as a, the terminology call it as a milestones. Milestones in the sense, uh, total all this uh, six months of duration, around four members or maybe five members are working, so that all this particular work will be distributed to all. So sometimes it will be equally distributed, sometimes not unequally distributed based on its experience. Okay, if you are putting one or two years experience, you will get very less work. Even that also, they have clearly mentioned it. Okay, how many tables and how many data sets need to be created. So there will be a start date of this particular data set. When to complete also, there will be a target date also in that particular Excel document. So you need to start the work accordingly to the document. You will... Uh, save that particular work on the same location once you're done with your job you need to write a mail back to saying it i have completed this many tasks on all these particular tables or maybe this particular um, uh, data sets is available to do the validation work so you can assign a validator to it i'm done with my part and you can send a mail is the same thing the status also you can update in that excel sheet what they are assigning to you completed or maybe done or something like that you can just do that and sometimes you will attend the meetings also. The meetings will be directly with your manager. It is like a one-to-one. -one. Sometimes the meetings always required to related to study. What happens, you know, your manager want to check that how you are performing it because they want to give you some bonus to you in upcoming days. So they need to just need to check with it. This type of calls so like you and your manager, only two persons is in the meeting. That type of meetings, we call it as a one-on-one -on -one meeting. So within this one-on-one -on -one meeting, 
uh, you, you just need to tell that uh, what type of hurdles you are facing you have any issues with other persons or maybe your workload is bit more than what uh, more than usual so these are all those things if you want to uh, just uh, get it so you can just uh, go through it uh, and you just inform to it so that particular meetings is completely related to your performance and your bonus and all but there are another type of meetings that we call it as a study meetings so in the study meetings it's like as we have said that it's a six months of duration the total project is going to be completed within that let's say they'll put a two weeks as a target so within the two weeks what are the work you have completed how many are completed how many are pending so that is there any scope to do a more work or maybe uh, so that manager will think that okay i can assign a more work to you because you have already completed so this particular tasks and all so the planning executions and everything we will discuss on these meetings we call it as a study meetings or else we also call it as a uh, what i can say a daily one to one connects or we can call it as a or maybe we can call it this meeting name as also call it as a uh, study meetings so study meetings will tell about uh, all your roles how you will proceed how you need to proceed further uh, with work wise you can able to discuss in this particular meetings so as a programmer your job is always just log in into the computer check your mails is there any meeting scheduled then you will attend it no meeting schedules and check your tracker is there any work assigned to you you try to do the work accordingly if you have some issues or doubts or something so that you can ask to your colleague who is nearly sit to you or maybe you can just check with your manager you can use in a chat option in your uh, your computer that we call it as a teams okay so like a skype and all there is a one more option called a teams so you can ask the question to your uh, colleagues and all by using a teams and then you can ask the, the questions and you can get that particular questions resolved and you will go to the lunch break as usual normal and after that lunch break if the lunch break will mo mostly see it's in a uh, eight hours of your job how you di uh, distributed is your wish okay up to uh, nine to one o'clock is going to be uh, morning time and after that one to two we are going for lunch and again uh, from uh, two to six we are working on it that's your wish how you plan it so you can go for a lunch break there will be a tea breaks uh, by three o'clock and all nobody going to say that there is no bell or anything uh, to just go for a tea breaks and all that's your wish when you want to be, take a break and all yeah you can go for it and then at the end of the session end of the day you no need to give any updates to anyone until unless something is some mail is pending for you to reply because so somebody may ask you a question okay can you just uh, remind me your uh, status update before end of, before leaving for the day in that time so you need to answer those uh, emails okay these many are completed so these many are pendings so you can just give you that uh, status mail you can reply back to the same person that's it you log off from the computer and again you'll swipe with your card in office and so that you'll get out from that particular office job so this is the regular and daily what you have to do right as a ses programmer this is what you do most of the work what we are trying to do here every programmer it's a ses programmer or java programmer mostly the work is same the checking mails and attending for the meetings and having a discussion with teams for upcoming work and all this is very regular practice in any organization but as you are putting a fake experience but you don't know that uh, uh, what to speak putting a fake experience is always talking about tomorrow so we don't know that you are not confident enough confident enough to talking about tomorrow if i ask you to speak on yesterday so that you can tell that easily yeah so this is where i have worked on it and this is all the circumstances and all you can easily tell that talking about tomorrow is a difficult part always so putting a fake experience is something like that but i'm here to just help you at some part so that you can just uh, uh, you will not do a uh, silly mistakes because most of the times what happens you know uh, they try to identify that uh, a blunder a small uh, a silly mistake to prove you that you are a, a fake person okay not to show that uh, as you are a fake, a fake person try to be yourself and uh, try to be in the shoes of a saas programmer so that you will be able to understand what a saas programmer is doing in real time so that it will be easy for you to continue next that's it that's all about for this question uh, thank you for watching this video i'll meet you in the next vi video with a new question thank you